Right, so we got TFS EXG versus BXS and EIS. It's kind of like a freaking like random open field fight right in the smack middle of nothing. <laughs> We're seeing a lot of freaking orbs just nuke people, bro. Look at this guy. Ice Flame, is that a... F is it oh, I think he has a... F oh, this guy has a... A four archer setup, bro. He has a four archer setup. Who would you do as a four archer setup? That's a kind of a hard one, dude. You'd kind of you would you would probably have to separate some people, you know. I mean, because traditionally you have what? You have Kanara Hosk, Sindri on Fragar, Thea, Thea and Craig for the for the Wyvern Raiden. Wyvern Riders, and then who would you have? Then you have what? <sighs> Nico, and then someone else. And Guanwin? How would Guanwin do out in the field nowadays? What do you guys think? I'm kind of tempted. Nico and Guanwin. Yeah. Okay. I'm kind of tempted to to be an epic hero warrior one season. <laughs> like, just run all epic heroes. <laughs> With, like, basic artifacts, you know? Be kind of funny. That's why, that's why I hate that... Uh, now I'm starting to really dislike the fact that you gotta level up your heroes every season. I mean, I get it's, like, part of the grind and, and how they try to... Um, I don't know... If, the reason why I don't I don't know if what I'm about to say is the real reason but I don't know if they're trying to like close the gap between free to play and whales because it's like even whales like sure they have a bunch of troops and a bunch of heroes but you can only level up so many to 60 you know while dear Craig atheist yeah I think Guanwin's up there too bro I think Guanwin is slept on but who knows? I think I think with long range warfare, you never know. Like I tested out Kanara and Craig, and believe it or not, it, it was doing decent. It was doing decent, bro. You know, like Lily, for example, Lily and Thea, like you know, Kanara Ha, or sorry, Lily and Thea, Bert Tohar, like or yeah, like my top marches, you know, high twenties, low thirties, and then. Kanara Craig was like mid twenties, low low twenties. So, if you think about it, Craig is very easy to awaken and already doing it already in the twenty twenty k damage range. Granted, I had a fucking I had a spear, right? The spear is so cracked, also, man. So cracked. Tommy Inks. That's an Archer main right there. Oh, he said send a message. Oh, weird. Colombiano. TFS holding the line. Uh, at first it looked like, damn, this is just a weird, like, fight. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. I've seen, I've seen teams, like, do a banana or whatever. But this is, they're just, like, all fully spread out. Which is... You know, pretty cool because they're a lot of they're avoiding big AOE damage instead of being very close together. Um, but I don't know if this was intentionally done or not. It won't let you send your cords or PM, so try send a send a dot or something in game. That's weird. Billy the Butcher. You like to see that. This guy right here, Rails, he's using his infantry good. Like, he was just using it to block other infantry from getting in their face. Because it's like, if Rails runs out here... Ooh. If Rails runs out, he's dead. Like, he's not going to survive that long.
big the bag, please mess him up. We need that guy's build, bro. Like, what? There he goes. <laughs> what the hell is that? He went with a full mobility tree on that thing, dude. The stuck in 16 bit guy with the all win march. Nah. <laughs> that guy too crazy? Yeah, dude. That guy will literally dice you up, bruh. Oh, there's Tinsy. There's Tinsy. There's Tinsy. Oh, Tinsy, careful. <laughs> You're fucked. <laughs> You're fucked. <laughs> <Tinsy>. <laughs> Boom! That was a 57k. Okay, nice little skirmish line here. You got Northern Light there. So many big players, dude. So many big players. Don't watch you, you're gonna get nervous. <laughs> dude, I thought you were about to get got by that freaking tank. You would've. Uh oh, you're about to get got. You're done. He caught up to you. Yep. And you're fucked. You can't get away now. <laughs> He's gonna your your teammate's gonna cuck you and hop in the node. Oh, he should have node hopped you. Dude, look off that <laughs> this guy. <laughs> big the big bro that yo <laughs> That build is crazy. Someone get this man's build. Someone get this guy's build. Triple G. El Gabi. KPP, what's up, bro? How you doing? Welcome back to the stream. To the strum. Welcome back to the strum. Hopefully, I get something going here. I mean, you can kind of see. I wish. Oh, you. Oh, we could click on the marches. It seems to be, guys, like the top three marches that I'm seeing. Most of the, most of the players that I know that are good fighters. It's Lilia Valen, Sindra, Sindrion, Fragar, Kanara Hosk. Right. Some of them that are even bigger whales. They have, they'll, th they'll throw in uh, Bert Thea or Bert Tohar, right? Because you get that orb to get that max artifact hit. That those, those four marches right there, guys, are top tier. Top tier. I have three of them, which is cool. And I'm missing one. Did they start building it? Bro, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what's happening, right? Because you have EIS and BXS over here. I don't know if they ran out of resources, like, well, I really don't know what's going on. Looks like they're balling up here. Oh, that guy just full sent. Just Sammy, too. He just full sent. He just full sent. Saxman! Get him, bro! Just Sammy too, just full send in it. Oh. Get him, Tinsy. <laughs> free merits. <laughs> Dude, I stay hunting those free merits in the field, bro. When we're kinda kiting back and forth. I always try to I always try to pick out that low hanging fruit. That's what I call them, the low hanging fruit, you know what I mean? Like this guy right here, Slicks. He's way out here. All these guys gotta do is rotate and he's done. Oh yeah, look at that. Brr, 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 bang. Back up. Oh yeah, but I mean. He's a little out of position, but well, not really. You got Serker coming up. Sandman. 
the lethal Asian triple G dude yeah interesting the Fragar the Fragar Hosk interesting I wonder where uh, who's he running with that Kanara Nico I wonder what his, uh, what, what his Syndrome's up to. <laughs> his skull goes 5-5-3-1. Five, five, Nika's five two four two and he's running spring bird feather. <laughs> oh my god. Is that is that is that is that meta guy? is that meta chat? So essentially you're rocking your tanks like they're calves. So they're not you're not gonna take crazy sev wounds for the most part if you're if you're safe with it. Big the bag's gonna get wrecked now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big the bags T4, I believe. I'm probably not gonna be there for the pass opening. You'll be home at like 14 UTC. If I miss the big fights, you're gonna go feral. <laughs> <laughs> My man said he's gonna go feral, bro. No way. You did not say that, bro. I respect a player that thinks outside the box, even if the outside makes no sense. <laughs> I mean, I can see it, right? I can see it, but you have to be very ratty to pull it off. You know, like, if you're going to go with, like, a non-tank um, setup, then, yeah, I can see that. Nice little push committed at the top there using Demonia's uh, Matty Garwood. I don't know why people run the the frost bear with Maddie Garwood, bro. Maddie Garwood doesn't do any damage. Like I I don't see what the what the point of using a frost bear is. Like you're you, it's it's a damage base pet, but Maddie and Garwood don't do damage. You know, so it's like why not just go with the friendship bear? You know what I mean? I mean that's why I use I use I have the little friendship bear for my Maddie Garwood. My Maddie Garwood are not in a good place right now, but <laughs> my Maddie's in an okay place. She's five three five three. Garwood's, you know, not even worth mentioning his skills. Almost all my skills landed in garrison stuff um, instead of the main one that's important. But this is interesting, guys. I've never seen a line like this. Look at this chat. This is like some World War II, Civil War type shit, dude. Of how long, how big these lines are. It makes sense, though. It makes sense, though, right? If you think about it, we we've, we've been seeing a lot of alliances fighting, and they they like just ball up and they're taking crazy AOE from like everything, right? So if you sprawl out like this, it's a bit chaotic. But if you have players that you know know what they're doing, essentially, it's it, it's the way to fight, dude. It really is the way to fight. Hinting to a garrison video? Yeah, right. <laughs> I've been garrison captain once, and that was against BDO, and that was as a, as a backup garrison captain. Uh, with my Theodore, my Theodore Bakshi. And it did decent, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Guns is garrison main. <laughs> Part-time mage me? Damn. I don't know. You guys saw Tohar Burt? Tohar Burt reports? They're decent. They're shit once you start swarming them. That's for sure, but... They're pretty decent. What do you... Uh, I don't think... I don't know. I think because... The mage garrison is swarmable. Oh my god, bro. Someone did call me a scout target. Fucking saint. Yeah, that was saint, dude. Saint called me a scout target. 
I was like, wow, dude. And he's usually pretty bad at shit talking. Chat. He's that. He's that friend that as soon as he tries to shit talk, you're just like, nah, bro. That that wasn't good. Just, just take your L and walk away. You know. But he called me a scout target. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I was like, no, no way, this man. There's meow. Meow meow. Meow meow. There he is. What is he? What is our boy running? What is our boy running? Okay. It's kind of hard to tell. His marches are pretty well in sync. <laughs> kind of hard to tell. Jason left nut is still in TFS. Zartir. Zartir's a beast, man. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> you think that's Bert Valen? It's so hard to tell. I mean, we'll we'll check it out right now. The hey, egg Bert Valen is good, guys. Bert Valen is good. The thing about the Bert Valen combo, right? So some people are doing Lilia Thea and then Bert and Valen, right? Which is it's a good it's a good march. Uh, definitely up in contender for top two mage marches together, right? What like what is the duo mage combo now? You know, um, I would argue, especially once Tohar gets fixed, it's going to be Lilia Valen and and Bert Tohar. But based on what I've been seeing in the field, dude, Bert there is just—it's in a category of its own. It's so good. You got survivability. You got DPS. You got the orb just nuking people like. Uh, especially the way I've been running it with my Thea, like, her mobility tree, like, just getting shields, like, uh, oh, rage engine, you name it, bro. I mean, some of you guys watch my video on, like, Thea, Burt, Thea primary versus Burt primary, and you guys saw the difference, like, Thea was just, uh, it was doing better. It got the better, it got the better trades. With the Thea build that I had. But, you know. Like I said, every, it's, everyone plays the game and enjoys the game how they want. 99% of players use marches that they've never personally tested themselves. You know, and something that I always say in my videos is, hey, watch all the videos of all the content creators and, you know, check the builds out. But at the end of the day, choose what you think is best for you, right? Because what's, what's good for someone might not be good for someone else. This line is so crazy. <laughs> you guys see what I'm saying though? Like some Civil War shit. Look at that. They are supremacy. That's what I stand by. Yeah, bro, yeah. My Thea Bert was... Uh, it's my, it was my favorite march in the field for sure. Oh, I started testing out Kanara Hosk with with a level too hard of Kamasi a little too late, but I'm like, uh. well, you like it? I mean, it's it was, it was good. I mean, uh, I didn't get to fight too much with it. Yeah, there's no balls or no banana here, chat. No balls, no banana. Just a pole. And, they're, and their, their refresh rate is like about the same ish. TFS is all the way over here. So, in terms of field control, TFS has control in terms, you know, who's gotten more more ground. Uh, BXS is, and EIS are right over here. Where's EIS at? I think they're the yellow ones. No way. There's no one in yellow. I, I don't know. Are <laughs> they the orange ones? They're like on this on the plateau. Are there cities just oh, they're purple. disappeared? Oh, they're the hydro. Oh, they're Apparently way they're the back ones. here. Oh, they're way back here. Okay, so EIS is uh, refresh rate is a little crazy. Like, what, like, what is what is the point here? Are they building? I do. I have no clue, bro. 
Okay, so EIS is down here touched on the level four pass. Interesting. Look how they did this chat. They just they put slapped, a fort right there. They just slapped a fort right there. They can still touch the pass though. Yeah, the the, the corners chipped off, so they're taking they're touching the pass already. There's LSK and someone else over here. Who's this? <laughs> some farm alliance. <laughs> some farm alliances are fighting it off over here. Hold on, let's check their power before I before I talk my shit. Eh, that's not a really a farm alliance. Five point four bill. He's a Ooh. sub. Yeah, definitely sub power, and then versus uh, seven bill. Yeah, no, these guys. Why is there only like two people here though? <laughs> <laughs> They're probably both both NA. Everyone everyone working. Queen guns. Oh my god, guys, the wife's in the chat. Shit, she probably messaged me and I didn't reply. Yep. <laughs> Most definitely, bro. That's the oh, only time shit. she's in chat. Oh shit. Baby, I love you. <laughs> Dang. Crazy. I'm getting caught up. Crazy. <laughs> Rip guns. From CS recruit. Dead man streaming. Crazy. Damn. <laughs> no zone 4 for guns. Dude, imagine that. Chat, that, wouldn't that be crazy? I just disappear, bro. No more videos. No more streams. No one knows anything. I'm freaking six feet under. <laughs> this is the last known footage. Monka S, bro. Monka S indeed. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh no, chat. I'm not gonna have food made anymore. Rip the dream. I woke up a little late Rip. today. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I went to the gym last night, which I normally don't go to the gym last night, but last night was just one of those nights, you know? Um, and I didn't even go to sleep till like 2 a.m. And I woke around, woke up around seven, and I'm like, ah, oh, way too tired for this. Woke up, woke back up around eight. I'm like, nah, way too tired for this. Um, and I finally got up at like nine o'clock, and then I ate some food, and then I was contemplating whether I was gonna stream or not because I saw BXS and and TFS weren't really fighting. But now they're fighting, fighting. Holy crap. BXS and EIS pushing up here, destroying no the Northern Light. Northern Light with the three, three set up there. Streaming better than Jim? Negative, negative. Jim's life, Jim's life. Northern got obliterated. Hell oh, yeah, dude. You know what's crazy, stream? We, we are now in the stage of the game. And the alliances are strong enough now. That players like Northern Lights or even Nefisto, like even as big as Nefisto, like if you try to freaking five bomb your march into a freaking horde of forty marches, you're dead. <laughs> like you're just handing out merits. Oh, Saj is full sent it right here. They're even they're ignoring him. He has a he has a Hosk Matty. Okay, interesting. Homie couldn't invest in his Gorish Skokul. Spike! Spike, where you at, bro? You out here? You better be out here, bro. Oh, I think he's using the full counter build. Like, look how much the, the Venom Lizard is proccing. Holy. Oh, on the Hosk? Yeah. Mm. Saw it onto something and didn't tell us, chat? Oh shit, I don't even know. Is that, I think that's Greek, right? I can't read that. Not playing much in Vacation Paris? Oh shit. <laughs> My guy said, I'm good, I'm in, I'm on vacation. Oh no, TFS. What, what happened? At first BXS like, what, 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 what? And then TFS was running and then they turned around and said, what's good? You can, hmm. you can tell, um, in their discord 
they probably would like everyone turn around and just fight these guys. You know, full send. Have you guys Bro. noticed though, right? You know, I know some of you guys are probably like, yeah, this guy's a BDO fanboy. Okay, yeah, I am a fan of BDO. But what I will say is, look at, look at, like, when you guys see, like, BDO fights and stuff like that, like, their tank presence compared to any other alliances, right? Look at EIS, look at TFS, all top alliance. I mean, TFS is the top alliance. And you hardly see, like, you know, okay, now we're see now we're seeing some tanks. And look at look at the difference that these tanks make. And no one wants to deal with that. <laughs> They're just backing up, right? But the Gory Skogo with the with the um, Spearbone Torque, nice. Uh, That's nice, dude. I wish I could say I was vacationing in Paris. Where are you guys going, Eli? Okay. Oh my god, guys. I am starving again. I'm actually starving again. I just ate, too. Run. That's why you should have checked your phone. Queen said the food ready. And since you didn't, it's over. It's actually over. Oh no. She finna kill me Rip again, Indy. bro. Nice little pushback from TFS there. <laughs> it's just now no longer English. I have no idea what they're saying. They're definitely saying something. They're probably trolling me right now. Like, look at this guy with his fucking Mario hat. With his Mario <laughs> hat. <laughs> They're like, he doesn't even know what we're saying. We're just, he's just smiling away. <laughs> he could be saying something crazy right now. We have no idea. <laughs> Whatever looks I'm like a, the A and F is probably just ha ha ha. That's definitely ha ha ha. That's definitely it. Apparently all of Gun's chat is Greek now. <laughs> uh-huh, sure. You guys are just saying hi. <laughs> mm -hmm, you little sneaky, mm -hmm. little sneaky bastards. Don't make, I'm gonna screenshot that shit and take it to Google Translate. Here we go. Screenshot this and put it on Google Translate. Yeah, my dude got receipts out there. Yeah, yeah, we're saving this. Save as desktop Greek spies. Mm hmm. There we go. <laughs> Greek spies sounds crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> Google Translate. Uh huh. No. Okay. Google Translate. Image. Browser files. Look up Greek spies. There they are. Open. See, we're doing some investigative work here. Uh, I do think right, investigative work is just wow. Google Translate. Are there any Greeks in this game? Fill gun stream with Greeks. Top one <laughs> Apparently all of Oh, okay, okay. Some of this didn't some of this didn't even translate. The T says R E. Mm-hmm. Amantia. I'm not even Greek. <laughs> 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 my dude said fill the chat with Greeks they're about to take over <laughs> they're gonna they are they probably have some like Greek community group chat in Call of Dragons and they're about to they're about to message this out I thought that said gym bros for a second I'm not gonna lie You guys are about to do that? Hey. 
Wait, Steph, you're trolling. <laughs> you are trolling big time for sure. Chew dog. Dude, you remember Chew Dog, right? I do. He's 112 million power now. <laughs> yeah, bro. He's he been posting it. He's been posting some progress in the COD Discord. My man, like last time I saw him, and then XM5 wailed out apparently and and won a freaking Greatest Heights event. I don't know about one, but it popped off. Ten. Bro, you remember um, DLM Sis? Yeah. Bro, he's 4T5 now. What? Yeah. It's kind of really? crazy, bro. He welled up. Nah. Dead ass. Nah. <laughs> what you mean, nah? Nah. That's all I'm going to say is nah. <laughs> bro, he posted a picture. Oh, yeah. I'm sure, dude. <laughs> yeah, right. He's T5. Oh, here's now. Diablo. Diablo's a monster, chat. And that dude in the keeps was annoying. Oh shit! Draco said Greek Alliance, a Greek Alliance strongest alliance, probably ninety per ninety nine percent free to play and in debt. Sheesh. Damn. Sheesh. Okay, are we okay? Exg and TFS. It looks like they're bringing in a, a nice little tank line here. All right, all right. We're starting to they, we're, we hit a little pause in the open field fight. One of their R fours probably said, "Hold up, oh shit, Morden, full sending on his own." Chat, check him out. Little does he know that there's cabs in this node right here. <laughs> uh oh. Morden said, I don't need no alliance. <laughs> He's just full sending out there. Earth steak and unlimited fries? Oh my god, bro. You guys are... My, my chat, like, you guys are living the dream, man. Unlimited fries? Vacationing in Paris? Like, what the... You guys are... You guys, you guys doing it right. You guys doing it right. Yeah, EIS has a pretty far way of refreshing. Where's EXG at? Is EXG this little, the red ones over here? No, where's EXG? Are they the blues? Oh, EXG's the blues. Interesting. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Come on, baby. We're about to see a nice little fight here. They're resetting. Last two mania. Oh, coming in. Coming in. Oh, M Morden's about to have calves in his face. Oh, Morden spots the calves. Looking to make an escape. They didn't put enough speed. They didn't put enough speed builds on his uh, on his marches. Ferrando flapping his wings, smacking him in the back of the head as he's looking to retreat here. <laughs> here comes the calves! Here comes the cavalry! Oh my God, Morden's having a bad day. <laughs> Just turn your your turn your singer on around. Sacrifice him as tribute. Oh my god, look at these calves going crazy right now. Oh shit, the BX line turns around. Damn. Oh, he left his Ferrando there. Oh no, that was the clone Ferrando. Oh, damn, that was crazy. Get you wanna... You don't understand this war. You get they wanna have a fun but zero territorial play yeah i honestly don't like i was looking at this and i'm like i don't know what the hell is happening um 
I don't even know if BXS is gonna build. Like, are they out of resources? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, what's going on? I mean, I know that this is just a a farm alliance, E X L F. Maybe they just want to keep this fort here as a defensive setup. But I, you know, I would think TFS wanted to push over here. But it it might it seems like it's like a defensive play potentially. TFS has some tanks here lined up in the front. EIS BXS balling up again. Ball's looking a little small compared to the TFS EXG. Everyone's saving for final zone. Nobody will not push anything in that zone. That's what I'm saying. I figured. I figured. That's. I mean, that's good. They're showing respect to each other, right? But in theory, these are the people you're fighting in the final zone. So, like, if you if you already granted, if you have, it's important to save your resources, right? Make sure that you have max resources. But you know, if resources is not the problem, and you can inflict some sev wounds to the enemy, then I say take the dub, bro. You know. No, so you take the dub. Mm -mm. I want to see a nice little push here. A nice little push would be nice. Oh yeah, one thing that we're gonna do. Um, not sure how well it's gonna. Oh, uh, translate over. All EXSL uh, alliances meet shields for TFS. Yeah, I know that they're they're farm they're farm alliances. At least that's what I was told. How strong is this alliance? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Not even a meat shield, bro. It's just like a stalling alliance where they just drop a bunch of random flags. EXXSL. That's six bill, right? So that's not really a farm alliance. I wouldn't I wouldn't call six bill farm alliance. Hmm. Hopefully they push soon. We want to see some voids. Check SL uh, LSK pushing R and R. I'll go over right now. Right now I'm trying to focus on... I'm recording right now. So I'm trying to make sure that I get this... Get this big push right here. Oh, here comes Big the Bay with his fast-ass Skogel, dude. Fastest Skogel in the game, dude. With quads like that, they're running marathons. With quads like that, they are running marathons. God damn it, I keep clicking on these things. Ancients fighting our other alliance. Over here. SLR. Like, what? Are, what is Ancients doing, bro? Like, what is the point of this? Anyways, that's not what we're here for. Probably another 10 or so minutes. Looks like they're gathering on up. Bunch of AFKs near the spire. If you're going to AFK anywhere, it's going to definitely be near that spire. Um, okay. Killing random darklings. There we go. Got to warm up the legs. Oh, we got the flying chickens in the chute. Ready to dart out. You never watch TFS fight. I've watched them quite a bit fighting Neuer, and that was a very entertaining war. Like once once the territory touches, right? Very entertaining. BXS versus CFS, second time in COD history. Yep. <gasps> yep. <coughs> 
I remember when I was in uh, what was formerly known as DX, aka TFS now, we fought BXS, it was good. It was good. BXS at the time had Nefisto, and they had Wahid. Okay, smoking some more Darklings, there we go. Yeah, Steph, I remember you. You were in BXS, right? If I remember correctly, you were... I like BXS. When we got blacklisted from <laughs> from DX, me and my wife got blacklisted. Um, BXS was kind enough and took us, gave us a little home for like three weeks. Had some fun over there with the BXS people. Very chill. Very chill. I see each made left to Neuer. I was like, oh, big rip. Big rip. I think I think I'm uh, I think I finally found like a little home though. When I was with BXS, I I couldn't like the migration stuff was so dumb, bro. I couldn't even I couldn't even migrate. It was all full. And every time it would open up, someone else would win it. We've come a long way, though, like, our little group of people that, you know, that we had. A lot of old, like, DX people. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Big push inbound, chat. Here we go. We got the Taeon Gorish Skogol rally coming in. TFS line moving up. You can see they're purposely sprawling out. I like this. I like this. It's actually really good tactics. Um, and it takes a disciplined crew, right? Because if done incorrectly, if they have like a massive ball here, it's just going to hit them. These guys need to just move. God slay. Wow, they actually... Oh, no, I thought, I thought someone actually hit the rally. Oh my god. Fonania! <laughs> like those movie scenes you see them like running oh, and then the freaking shields clash. Shield wall! <laughs> oh my god. Look at this, bro. Absolutely insane field fighting here. You can see the line of skirmish is set. BXS looking a little thick in the middle. Damn, dude, I don't know. It kind of looks like BXS and EIS have a little bit more players here than TFS. Right? But that, I mean, but not like by much. TFS is pushing the tempo. BXS, EIS pushing back. Burnt toast! If I tell you in that time I didn't trust you, oh yeah, of course, of course. I mean, I was just fighting you guys all season. Look at that! Look at that! Oh my God, that was a big tempo push. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're winning, right? It could be, you know, obviously TFS pushed the tempo, but now they could potentially stop. And just fight, right? Because there's a lot of people running instead of fighting. Uh, and it's really messing up the flow here. Looks like these guys down here stopped. But a lot of TFS concentrated in that area. Damn, they're just... They're clearing house, dude. Like, it was... You know, they just lined up. Like some riot control type shit. And just started freaking going in. All good though, it's not over. TFS going heavy. Oh, rip. Rip rip the girl, Sabrina. R.I.P. Thick log. Oh, Sabrina's still alive with her main march right there, Syndrion. 
looking to make things happen. I mean, it's interesting, right, Chad? Doesn't it seem like BXS, EIS have more players, but TFS are the ones playing more aggro? Or am I tripping? The line's still going. Big red on that right flank. Big the bag up there. They have to stop at some point. Oh boy. Ooh, someone got gold crested right there for like 60k. Ooh, now they're starting to get stuck up again. Now they're starting to... Okay, now it's going to narrow in. Look at this line. There's so many of them. Good, solid activity from uh, TFS EXG. Um, majority TFS, but some EXG here and there. <clears throat> oh, hit him with the question mark. Okay. Jesus, bro. This is so many people. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of a lot of old names, dude. I mean, <sighs> ATL Rakov. Boom! Someone got hit for something hard down here. Look at this. Look at the Celestials. Celestials doing Celestial thing. Okay, they're starting to push him back. It could just be because, you know, there's some people refreshing already. But still going heavy. Sheesh. So much fighting, dude. <laughs> this is crazy, man. A lot of sleep will be lost in the next two, three weeks, guys. A lot of sleep will be lost. Think about it. These wars are only going to last longer and longer. Damn. Mage unit got hit for 40 or 30k there and AoE for one or for 11k. The longer this game's alive, the more and more troops people have on average. So the more and more fun the wars are going to continue to get in this game, guys. The more and more fun the videos are going to, or the, the wars are going to be in this game. What's the map look like? Are the No, the flags aren't close, bro. It's not, they're really just like skirmishing, really, at this point. No no, no real territory grab or anything. Um, From talking to some of the people from BXS and TFS, it seems like people are kind of just stalemating a little bit. Waiting to uh, get enough resources for final zone. And more activity will matter rather than power. Oh yeah, at, th at this, uh, yeah, at this rate, you know. I mean, even for a lot of the top 20 alliances, yeah, I mean, activity is a lot, right? But a lot of the lo top alliances, the way they hold, the way they do their rosters, is based on activity, right? So it's, it's a little unrare to see top alliances not have good activity, right? Because I think I think pay to, I think our our alliance pay to win. I think we rank top twelve. Yeah, I think we rank top twelve. Uh, I think by the end of this season, we're probably looking at we're probably looking at being in the top ten. Let's call out some of these players. EXG, Timbo, Copper. Let's see, what names do I recognize here? I'll tell you guys the names I recognize. Mm, seems to be not many. Oh, this guy right here. The Epicurean. Epicurean guy, he's the main main archer, crazy player, crazy player. This guy, this guy still has T fours of everything because he he like he went all in on archers, everything archers, nothing else. I think it's pretty smart, you know. 
Like I said, I, I'd say that I'm gonna go for a little bit of archers, but who knows? Who knows what I end up doing? Yeah, at this point, the TFS line is fighting a few of B BXS people's, uh, some of their refreshing units. Let's see, let's look at it. Right? Yeah, they're starting to thin out a little bit. Now, the uh, all they gotta do is push the tempo now. Tiny got slapped. Sheesh! Tinsy. Steph said you gotta put in the blender, my boy. Zartir, crazy fighter also, also Zartir. Ooh, 41k for that freaking archer right there. Yikes. Yikes. Alright, TFS looking like looking like they're smart move by TFS. See another another sign of good leadership here. Like alright guys, we're we're starting to take some bad trades here. Let's go back, regroup, and call it a day. That's crazy. Yeah, see? It's a good move. It's a good move. Yeah, if you're taking bad trades, even if you still have a bunch of people out here, as long as, you know, it's not like a territory thing where you're trying to stall for as long as possible, then yeah, take your time, refresh. Come do me! <laughs> Potato Wrecker, what's good, bro? What's good? Holy crap. That was a crazy, that was a crazy field fight. I mean, what did we expect, right? TFS, number one alliance, BXS, and EIS, top alliances. I don't know the exact numbers. I, I probably got to go watch a Boss Nasty video real quick, educate myself on rankings and, and see where they're at. But there you go, guys. That's going to be it for that video. The first, like, I mean, I, I'm sure they had other big skirmishes, but I, I think that might have been, like, their biggest skirmish right there. Uh, how long they're going to do this, I'm not sure. I mean, similar to other other people and other server merges, we have the final zone opening. So you kind of want to be wise with how you expand your troops. You don't want to be taking bad trades. That's why I called out, like, it was good for them to back up here. BXS and EIS, from the times that we've been watching the fights, they've also been doing that as well. If they're taking bad trades and they'll turn around, regroup again. Like, that's very basic stuff, guys. But you'd be surprised how many alliances don't do that. They kind of just keep going. And, you know, as an R4 um, or war leader or whatever title you have, you know, in terms of war. Like, you have your eyes have to be up, you know. Kind of looking at the situation like, alright. Yeah, there's way more of them. This hard reset and, and give it another go. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video there, displaying some of uh, TFS, EXG, BXS, EIS. I mean, this is, this is, this is, this is D1, baby. This is D1 fighting right here. As you, I, like, as you guys can see, like, the biggest thing we noticed, where they were doing, like, big skirmish lines, right? Where fights that I've been in and we've seen other people, it's just like, like balls and bananas like now nah, they went full pull so you know i mean that's a that's a good shout that's something that even me watching this video that i'm gonna take back to uh Pato in and be like look look at this style of fighting bro pretty solid right i thought it was pretty solid um it could be argued that if you stay tight and kind of just work your way up that line <laughs> i don't know right but it's a good it's a good strategy to have and I think it's good. Uh, well, with that being said, guys, hope you guys like this video. We'll definitely be trying to do more coverage, especially in the final zone. Um, unfortunately, I'll be working a lot during a lot of this stuff. But wherever I can record for these these uh, skirmishes, I will. Especially the ones that determine who wins the war. You know what I mean? You guys know what I'm talking about. Once we go, in, once people go into Atheran. And that, those first initial skirmishes start happening, and then whoever starts getting control of spires and choke points, etc. Usually, usually there's no like comebacks, you know. But then again, you never know, right? So, with that being said, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. It's your boy Guns here. I'm out.